So what's up YouTube, this is me Neville here back with another video and this time we are going to look on how to fix the 4G connectivity issue in all Android devices and this time I'm using my Zenfone Max and this problem is usually caused due to the overheating of Android devices so we are going to do a quick review for the Zenfone devices and all other Android devices so stay tuned and subscribe, this is me Neville and with no more delay, we just gonna right into it So here I am back on my Zenfone Max and this problem is caused due to overheating of devices. So first what we're gonna do is go into settings and make the 4G available. So for that go and click on settings then data usages, sim2 and here what you have to do is click on the three dots and go to the cellular network settings. Here you should allow the sim settings to 4G, only to 4G and after that you need to go back and what you had to do in Asus and phone devices, this can be solved due to a quick help of a system update. So we are going to check on how to do that with the help of a system update. Because this new system update helps you to reduce the heatness of the body of the device and helps you to reduce the connectivity issue with the 4G. So here we go to the system update. You need to check for updates and you can recently get that file. I just installed it on my device so it won't show me up for any updates so you have to install that update too and after that you're still facing this issue you need to go on to the C cleaner the C++ cleaner or C cleaner what you call it the clean master one so this app helps you to cool down your CPU the CPU of your Android device and helps you to get the 4G faster so here you need to go to tools and in tools you'll get the CPU cooler or CPU which helps you to reduce the temperature of your device and what you have to do here is to switch down all the apps that is unnecessary so it will do it automatically for you and after that with one minute time it will bring the phone back to its normal range of temperature degrees so this is the video all about what you have to do is all these steps still facing this issue you can comment below and this is a lot seen in Asus devices due to its overheating so thanks for watching my video and I still face you a bit